And we welcome back to Conference USA Media Day presented by Ryan. Florida Atlantic is picked second in the East this year. And we're joined right now by their head coach, Willie Taggart. Coach Taggart, good to have you with us today. Hey, thanks for having me. You know, I, I really found it interesting. Last year, there was no spring practice. This was your first spring practice with this team, and you're in your second year. How important was it to have this spring? Oh, it was huge. You know, um, I mean, the way, the kind of the way I look at it, when we went through the season last year, it was like spring ball for us, where we um, had a chance to get to understand our players and things of that nature. And, you know, going through last year and, and understanding your players and seeing what they can do well and what they can't do well, um, it helped us as we went into spring ball. And uh, spring ball, we was a lot more prepared on what we wanted to do. We had guys in, in probably better position than what they were in the fall because we understood it better. And, and we had some additions that we added to our football team that helped throughout the spring ball. So it was big, not just football, but also um, the chemistry and, and getting to know each other as, as a coaching staff and, and players. All those things you take for granted and uh, that we missed out on, um, uh, we were able to get it this spring, and it was nice. Well, let's talk about your team because you said, and I read this quote, for explosive plays, you need explosive players. Do you have explosive players this year? Oh, uh, absolutely. You know, uh, I really like our, our, our roster. Um, I thought we, we did a good job this offseason going and, and filling some needs um, and, and getting the players that we need in order to, um, to be efficient and, and make the plays that we want to make both on offense and defense. And um, this offseason, we were, we were able to add some guys to, to our roster that I think are um, going to allow us to get those explosive plays that we need. Well, you have a new offensive coordinator, Michael Johnson. You really coached with him at Oregon. Uh, the big question is quarterback situation. It, it seems to be a big question mm -hmm. mark right now. Have you made headway there? Uh, yeah. You know, um, after going through last season, again, when you don't have spring ball, you really don't know what you have. You know, and then going through the uh, fall, you, you learn a lot more. I guess if there's any good to take out of it is uh, you understand what you have better by game experience. And so we know exactly what we have. Um, I know going into this offseason, one thing I wanted to do as, as, as the head coach and for our football team to make us a highly competitive football team, you know, and, and that's at every position and um, especially at the quarterback position. And I thought this offseason we were able to do that with the addition of Michael Johnson and uh, Nicozy Perry um, allowed us to, to bring some competitive um, competition in that room, which is going to make them all better. Well, you talk about competition. Running back was probably your deepest position last year. I look at some of the mm -hmm. names you have and what you have returning. It could be even better at running back this year. Would you agree? Well, it should be. You know, I think last year we go back, we, had, we, were, we were deep, but uh, we had a lot of injuries. You know, you look at all those running backs, and they were all going down like hotcakes last year. So um, this offseason was, was really important that we get ourselves right physically um, as a running back group and again we we have plenty of depth back there so uh, going into this this season uh, we got to be able to run the football and we're going to lean on our backs to, to help us with that and, and we should be better at that position. Well let's talk about defense because you had an outstanding defense last season 10th in the NCAA in points allowed added a new defensive coordinator former Oklahoma defensive coordinator Mike Stoops he is a, a Barrel of excitement. There is no question about that. But your defense, do you have any holes, and how do you maintain the standard that you set last year with this D? Well, I think uh, if you look at our team from last year, our defense from last year, um, I think we only have about one or two guys coming back, starters back from the, the defense the year before. You know, So we had a young and uh, inexperienced defense last year that that uh, played very well for us. You know, and, uh, so we only expect for that to continue to get better uh, because of the experience that we we have at that uh, on that side of the ball and and again some of the guys from a depth standpoint uh, we feel a lot better than where we were last year with our defense so um, really excited about our defense where we can go and we expect to, to make jumps uh, because of our experience and um, our growth on that side of the ball. 
Oh, uh, you know, knowing Mike and the way he coaches, he stresses turnovers and, and really slobber knocker kind of football. You had only seven interceptions last season, and a lot of times you can't really blame the DBs for that. What goes in right. that you have to improve on to get more than seven picks? Well, I think when you want interception, you got to make sure you're putting players in position to be able to, to get interception. You know, a lot of, a lot of time it, it goes with schemes and, and, and the way you go about playing defense, you know. So um, I think if we're going to get more turnovers, again, we got to put our guys in better position to, to get those turnovers, you know. And then from that standpoint, our players, when they get their hands on the ball, they got to get it. You know, we had a lot of tip balls last year. You know, we, we stressed our team our defense a lot, especially this spring. We don't want to lead the country in pass breakups. You know, we want to get some of those interceptions. So, um, and, and our guys know how to do it. The year before that, we, uh, we were one of the top teams in the country um, defensively with turnovers. And uh, again, we need to add that to our defense, knowing that if we can get more turnovers out of our defense, we're only going to be that much better. And we talked about uh, spring practice, your first one this year. And one of the highlights of spring practice Willie Jr., 75-yard touchdown run. Who is more excited, you or his mom? Uh, I think both. Uh, I got to give it to mom. Uh, that's the only time she'll watch <laughs> that's, football. That's you know, the uh, safest thing to do, too, by the way. Yeah. I, yeah, all, all these years of me playing ball and coaching ball, she really didn't care too much about ball until he started playing. And then she started understanding what an offensive guard was, a center was, a tackle. Um, and I think she, she, she understood that more because they had to protect their baby. So she <laughs> wanted to make sure she knew what they were doing. So, um, no, but she was excited. And I think more he, he was excited. You know, Coach, I, I want to just touch real briefly on this because your schedule, you start off with Florida. That puts a lot of pressure, I would think, on these practices in August because you got to hit the ground running when you go up against Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Um, that started back in spring ball. You know, we, we, we've been working on them since spring ball, and we'll get more in training camp. We had some throughout the summer. So, again, that's not one of those things where you just start in training camp, but uh, we've been introduced to, to um, the things they, they like to do and, and try to get our guys to understand that, you know. And at the end of the day, we got to be good at what we do because uh, it doesn't matter really what anybody else does if we're not on top of our game. So really doing a good job of, of focusing on us and understanding us and why we're doing what we're doing. And I think that's so critical when it comes to our players and getting them to understand not to just run lines that are in the playbook, but to understand those lines and why we're doing those things. And, and if they have a great understanding of it, then they have a better chance of executing it. And, and we got to be able to execute at a high level when you're playing against a team like Florida. Well, Coach Taggart, we appreciate your time today. We wish you the best of luck and hopefully a whole season and hopefully another bowl for your squad. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, thank you very much, and have a great day if you want to. Go Owls. <laughs> we turn our attention to the players of FAU, and joining us now, offensive lineman Desmond Knoll, the senior out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and he joins us right now. Desmond, good to have you on the show today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, Desmond, how tough was it, was it last year not to have a spring practice and then you have to start playing, obviously, in August and everything else that was going on, but not having that spring practice, was that difficult for you? Um, it was definitely difficult. You know, uh, spring ball is a time where you really uh, figure out what kind of team you have. Um, COVID was hard in general. Uh, the feeling of not knowing if you're going to play that week, um, it was tough on us all, but yeah, definitely not having spring ball definitely affected us, uh, not just the practice, but also the training, the conditioning, and the weightlifting uh, affected us. So, Last year, your squad was fourth in Conference USA in rushing, but at times you had problems scoring. Knowing offensive linemen uh, the way I have over the years, they take a lot of pride in that. Have you talked about mm -hmm. making sure the big guys up front, the Hogs, open things up to score more touchdowns? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think a big emphasis for us this year uh, was training, you know, getting bigger, getting stronger, uh, gaining weight. We got some new guys that transferred um, that have a lot of experience. Um, 
So I think this year is definitely going to be different uh, in terms of where we rank on that list. Ed Warner is the offensive line coach and run game coordinator. He came from Michigan. What has he meant to you and the linemen? Um, you know, he's a really straightforward coach. Um, he doesn't let any of us slack. Um, at times, he can, be, he can be hard on us, but I think we thrive off of that. Um, we need a coach like that. We need a coach that's going to get us together like that. Um, and I, th I think he's done a great job so far. Also, have a new offensive coordinator in Michael Johnson uh, joining the squad for the first time this year. What tweaks has he made in the offense, and do you think that'll be beneficial to this offense? Uh, yeah, you know, the first day I met him, we immediately started going over some of the things he wanted to change, some of the things he wanted to implement. And, um, you know, the things he showed me, the things he's done for our offense, uh, I think it could, it could really take us some places in one of some games. When you have four explosive running backs like you do, and coming into the season, they could be even better. Is that just like the ultimate delight for an offensive lineman, knowing you don't have to hold your block that long, these guys are still going to hit the hole? For sure, for sure. I mean, you always want to hold your block as long as you can. Um, but I also think with, with the group of running backs we have now, there's a certain sense of, uh, of trust between us. Um, the running backs, they trust us to protect them. And when they trust us to protect them, that just motivates us more. Um, uh, motivate us more to protect them. So, okay. Final question. I mentioned you're from Cincinnati, Ohio. Your favorite mm -hmm. food from Cincinnati is Skyline, for sure. Okay, Skyline for chili. Sure. Just got to get it out. You know, for sure. Yeah. And you, you said <laughs> you sure. you said you eat a lot of it when you're home. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, if I, if I only go home for a week. I'm probably eating it every other day. <laughs> well, you're <laughs> an offensive honest. lineman. You're allowed to. <laughs> Definitely. Well, we thank you for, for sure. being with us today. We wish you and the team the best of luck this year. Thank you guys so much. Zion Gilbert, the senior cornerback from Mount Gemery, Alabama. This past season, he emerged as one of the leaders of the defense for FAU. And he was honorable mention Conference USA last year, and he joins us right now. Good to have you with us today. Thanks for having me. You know, I, I mentioned you are a senior. How far have you come as a player since your freshman year? Um, uh, let me tell you, uh, I, I came a very long way I'm from freshman year to now. You know, uh, you know, um, this is my fifth year, so uh, throughout these five years, I didn't learn a lot from players, coaches. Um, throughout these years that helped me elevate on the field. Is it bittersweet to be in your final year? Oh, uh, yes, most definitely, you know, just being around the guys for all these years, you know, um, making memories, you know, it, college football is always something um, that, I'll, that I'll miss going forward on my next journey. You know, growing up, your dad coached you up a little bit. What did he teach you? What was the mm -hmm. most important things that he said you've got to remember as a player and a person? Um, just, um, you just get back up, you know, um, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some, but you have to just keep, just keep fighting, just keep going, just trying to be the best player that, that you can be every day and the best version of myself that I can be each and every day. Well, you've got a good friend of mine who's your new defensive coordinator, Mike Stoops. I wouldn't describe mm -hmm. him as quiet. He's probably one of the... No way. No, no, no way. Yeah. When he, you first saw the way he coached, did you look at him and thought, oh, my goodness, what are we getting ourselves into? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, just because uh, in the past, like, we never had a coach who was, uh, who was like Coach Stoops, you know, on, uh, on the talkative side of what you're trying to explain. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it, the, first, the first, first week, it was kind of uh, it hit everybody hit everybody a little different, but I think everybody's used to him now. Yeah, he's, he does stress turnovers. He did when he was at, at mm -hmm. Oklahoma, and you can go back to his days even at Iowa, and you had only seven interceptions last season. Has that put a mark on the DBs and the rest of the defense that you have to increase that number? Oh, yes, for sure. Um, on the back end and the secondary, we would like to um, lead the um, conference, to lead the nation in um, takeaways, interceptions. Now, you're a tough player, obviously, as a defensive back, come up with a lot of big hits. 
But you're afraid of roaches? Is that what I saw on some podcast? Are you really afraid of roaches? <laughs> uh, Come on, you uh, gotta afraid. fess up now. You gotta fess up to me. <laughs> don't don't back out of this, all right? No, no, uh, yes, for sure. Though I mean, I, 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 I mean, like everybody else, I can't get down with those. I'm pretty sure everybody else agree with me. But yeah, when I see one, I just, uh, I just make my skin crawl. <laughs> You realize you can step on them, that you're bigger, right? You do realize that, don't you? Yeah, I do. I mean, I do, I do do that, though, but it's just still, though. <laughs> I don't like them. All right. Well, we appreciate you taking time with us, and we wish you the best of luck in the coming season. When we continue Conference USA Media Day, we'll talk about Old Dominion. They didn't play last year. We'll be back in a moment.